Hello, comic book fans. Here's Earl Grey, Panology number 91, with my fourth episode about the best comic books, trades, omnibuy, graphic novels, whatever you want, uh, from 2015. This time it's about superheroes, and I thought I was pretty much done with the genre superheroes. Therefore, I was amazed uh, how many books I've bought in the last year with that theme. Um, because actually I'm not following a, a, new, a new superhero title anymore. Um, yeah, so, but there were so many good um, new collections of old stuff that I, yeah, that the stacks in front in front of me are pretty heavy. And um, so let's start, get started with two honorable mentions: um, Yuri Kubata, Yuri Kubata's Bat Manga uh, Volume Two. I I think maybe volume three has come out recently. I have to check. Oh, of course, I have to flip it in this way. <laughs> um, nice, fun black and white uh, comic. Nothing earth shattering, but really a must, I think, for the Batman completist. So, honorable mention number two, Red One, welcome, book one, Welcome to America, written by Xavier Dorison, um, drawn by uh, Terry Dodson, which is the selling factor here, of course, because uh, his art is wonderful. Therefore, you got a bit bonus uh, drawings of this beautiful, a bit annoying in, their, in her girlish too upfront, light-hearted way, but maybe that's just me. Story-wise, I think it really can improve a bit. It's more eye candy than a gripping, realistic story. Coming in on 10, um, it's the Silver Surfer Epic Collection Volume 3. Uh, I'm not the most avid Marvel reader, um, to say the least. I've never had uh, big exposure in my youth and so in my old days. I'm, uh, I think I'll never become one really Marvel aficionado, but some characters of the Marvel Universe have intrigued me uh, all the way through and um, the most important one of them is the Silver Surfer and therefore the epic collection is a good uh, opportunity to dive into uh, all his stories. The most important one of them all is, uh, I guess, Volume 1, uh, with all the Kirby stuff, when calls Galactus. Um, this uh, is what came out 2015, um, with the comics from 1918 to 1990, from Stan Lee. Um, Steve Engelhardt, uh, John Byrne, um, Rogers, uh, uh, Marshall Rogers, and Staten, and, and John Buscema, and so on. Some really ridiculous uh, stories and, and fun stories with Silver Surfer in a bourgeois setting. Um, great fun, I must say. Even though this collection is a bit loveless uh, put together with uh, just one example the uh, table of content here there's no mentioning of the exact uh, writers and pencilers in each story you have most of the time to guess this and that's a bit uh, annoying for a not too cheap book I must say and there's gutter loss and so on, but that's not so <clears throat> uh, so important because the panels eh, usually have a white border. So, anyhow, I will get uh, the next uh, Silver Surfer collections and to get the tiny dose of Marvel fix that I need like anyone else. 
Number nine, another collection of classic goodness is the Legends of the Dark Knight uh, where the story is drawn by Norm Brayfogle. And I wasn't too familiar because here the black uh, cardboard cover. I wasn't too familiar with Norm Brayfogle, but I'm glad that I've bought this one, even though the binding is uh, glued binding. But Norm Brayfogle has a very distinct style to draw um, the Batman. A bit comparable to Kelly Jones, which I dig as well. Not as t uh, over the top as uh, Kelly Jones, but maybe in this, in this direction of stylistic um, Batman drawings. Really nice collection as well. And I guess we are now up to rank 8. And I thought this must be a case for my unwrapped editions from the last year with David Finch and the RIP collection with art from Tony S. Daniel. I'll show, I've already shown you the David Finch book and I will do very soon a um, video about the RIP one. Rank seven, and this is Hawkeye, uh, the volume two of the collected deluxe uh, edition. If every Marvel book would be as good as Hawkeye, I would be an avid Marvel reader because this, these stories are really great great looking and uh, great funny ideas. This is some uh, special edition issue in the beginning and has one of the coolest, if not the coolest sidekicks uh, with Kate Bishop around and every um, issue with which is, was drawn by David Aja is amazing and here the issue uh, drawn by Franco, Francesco Francavia is art-wise uh, especially fantastic. So now to six, Zenith. Uh, the old Grant Morrison stories uh, drawn by Steve Yeowell. Um, and I've have, uh, this one uh, come, came out, um, this is uh, phase four in color, which is okay. I've, uh, I've dug the uh, predecessors in black and white as well, but the color in some uh, parts added a bit of uh, trippiness to it. So I think color doesn't hurt. Uh, I liked phase one and two a bit more than the rest, especially in three. There was a bit of too much time traveling Grand Morrison style, but hey, uh, back and forth and, and whatnot was really complicated and it didn't pay off as well as it should, in my humble opinion. But overall, Zenith is a really interesting story, especially, as I said it, the first two parts were the setting in the uh, war, Second World War, and afterwards a time period. Um, yeah, and for uh, every every Grand Morrison fan, I think it's a must. On rank five, um, Batman Year One Hundred and other tales from Paul Pope, 
And another um, recollection of old Batman stories, Gothic, from uh, written by Grant Morrison and drawn by Klaus Jensen. I've shown you both uh, books in separate panologies. So without further ado, up to rank four. And this is Nixon's pals about a police officer. Um, this one Nixon here. Um, that helps uh, super villains on parole. So it's more, it's not so a um, super heroic book, more a book about super villains. And as you can see, pretty crazy and here on the end papers. It's one of the love interests of this police officer. Uh, she has nipples instead of eyes and uh, therefore her boobs do the talking. A crazy uh, bonus uh, art or the original uh, sketch art and a crazy book. Uh, wait. With crazy villains and Chris Burnham art that is always amazing. Yeah, I just have to show you maybe this double page spread to convince you from uh, taking a look into this book here. Even the yellowish, yellowed um, cover, I think that was a, a good idea because it's an older collec uh, an collection of older comics that have been recolored for this edition because I don't know if Joe Casey or Chris Burnham, one of them or both of them, weren't satisfied with the old coloring, so they did a new publishing, new uh, edition of this one, which was a good idea because else it would have slipped me my attention. So nobody's, uh, nobody could say that this book here has been under his radar because then he would have lived really under a rock. Uh, the Multiversity from Grant Morrison. Um, really annoying that this isn't soon binding, uh, especially with some uh, stuff here in the middle. Gata loss is, isn't uh, inevitable, especially uh, in the guidebook. Uh, you, there you have this overview of the multi the DC multiverse and therefore they did this in the in a side in the back of the dust jacket which was a good idea but hey why not soon biting then you can really put this uh, where it belongs right into the middle of this book but at least uh, They've done this colorful, beautiful um, cover here. And what you get uh, with this book is a uh, final crisis like um, showcasing of the DC multiverse in all his glory and. Uh, different art styles galore and heroes, superheroes, super villains, all the fun that comes can come with superhero comics. Um, and every facet, yeah, as you see it, it uh, pulls out all the stops like you expect in a Grant Morrison comic. 
and maybe it has with uh, Pax Americana here one of the best single issues in the last in the last years uh, superhero wise and now you see it it's bad time again um, the Court of Owls the absolute edition I will do a separate video about this beauty here so without any hesitation here are my two top one books I can't help it but I have to do this a double because Wonder Woman the traits uh, haven't finished before the spring of uh, 2015 and <laughs> this is a good op opportunity for me to include again my beloved Wonder Woman series from Brian Azzarello and Cliff Chiang and uh, Goran Suzuka and so on. It's simply a wonderful series and it's a pity as I always um, rant uh, in this occasion how what they've done or haven't done uh, since because this Finch project it's a pity so and uh, the, the Golden Age Batman Omnibus Volume 1 uh, can't top that can't you um, if you're a fan of Batman, this omnibus is simply a must. If you want to take a closer look, watch my panelogy about this giant, beautiful Golden Age Batman tome. So, um, thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.